There are three main treatments for uh, most solid tumors or most cancers. That would be what we call systemic therapies and chemotherapy would be part of that or uh, otherwise termed drugs of uh, some mechanism of action which are taken either intravenously or orally. Number two, radiation therapy or external beam radiation that is used to treat tumors somewhere in the body. And then number three, surgery. Uh, surgery for pancreas cancer is a relatively simple treatment. In other words, if we can remove all the cancer, surgery helps. If we can't remove all the cancer, then surgery usually doesn't help. Important for patients to understand that surgery is not a neutral event. By that I mean that surgery does carry with it some side effects. The obvious side effects are that it requires uh, some degree of, uh, of pain or discomfort, which now we can manage quite well, but it also imparts on the patient a period of recovery. They're, they need to be in the hospital for a week or so recovering from their surgery, and then it oftentimes is a few weeks to a couple months recovering after the operation. Uh, at a biological level, the problem with that is any stress on the body depletes the immune system to some degree. And whether we win or lose the battle with cancer depends not only on the effectiveness of our treatment and how receptive the tumor is, but also the, the uh, strength and immune uh, ability of the patient, their so-called immune surveillance, to process the treatment that we are giving and help fight the cancer. So to that extent, whenever we impart on the patient a stress, surgery would be a physiologic stress, when we impart that stress on the patient, uh, the cancer, if it is not completely removed, may gain a competitive advantage. For this reason, at this institution, we routinely treat patients first, usually with chemotherapy or some other agent that treats the entire body in case the, the cancer has spread at a microscopic level that we cannot see on a CT scan. Treat them with systemic therapy first and then combine radiation therapy and surgery in the way that we feel will best treat the patient. Our current clinical trial of personalized medicine, which I believe is the only trial of this kind in the United States, aims to match the vulnerability of the tumor with the best possible chemotherapy treatment, capitalizing on the observation that we all have had uh, family, friends who have done very well with anti-cancer treatment, and we've had some friends and family members who unfortunately have not done as well. And what we try to do is match the vulnerabilities of the tumor at a genetic and molecular level with the best possible treatment. But the short answer to this question is we combine all available treatments against this disease. Usually we start with chemotherapy or some systemic treatment given either orally or intravenously, and then combine surgery and radiation therapy in the way that we feel would best benefit the patient. In general, surgery is applied only to patients in whom the cancer is still localized to the pancreas and not, has not spread to another part of the body.